What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day listening to me. I wanna talk about everything caffeine related. This is decaf, but I wanna talk about caffeine today, if you should take it, if you're sensitive to it, what should you do? Because I've had a lot of bad experiences, good experiences with caffeine, so I kinda wanna show you how you can use it properly and as a tool in your life. So, caffeine is one of those supplements that does work. The literature, the science on it is pretty clear. It does have performance enhancing benefits and they happen acutely, which means once you take it, of course, maybe 15 minutes after, but you don't have to accumulate it in your body like you have to do with creatine, which you have to take like five grams daily. It'll take like three months to saturate in your muscles. I don't know, caffeine, you take it right away, you're gonna feel its effects. Caffeine can really help performance in the gym. There's a reason it's in literally every pre-workout. It's always the base stimulant because it works. The science on it is really clear. That's one of those supplements or you know drugs, I guess, I would always, uh, recommend if you want to supplement with stuff. Caffeine has been tested forever. It does work, 100% does work. Also, it's fairly cheap. You could have a cup of coffee and you're good to go. You're gonna get in quite a bit of caffeine. So caffeine is not really that expensive. In the gym, it'll probably get you amped up, ready to go. It's a stimulant, it'll get you focus because it is kind of a nootropic as well, which helps cognitive function. I'm not gonna get too into the uh, caffeine mechanism, science, all that shit, but just know it can help with performance. It makes you really focused, really amped up for your gym session, everything you would want going into a heavy lifting session. So we know it works, but with every good thing, there are some side effects. Every single drug has side effects, okay? And caffeine, I guess you would consider a drug. And what happens is, well, some people are very, very sensitive to caffeine's effects, including myself. So I don't need a lot to feel very amped up to feel those effects of caffeine. But if I have too much, which is very easy to do for me and a lot of people, I'll get very, very anxious. You know that feeling in your stomach? You just get very, very anxious. My face flushes. I feel very, very jittery. It's not really a good feeling at all. I feel like I'm on crack. I've actually never done crack, but you get the point. I just feel kind of fucked up, I'm pretty messed up, and I don't like that feeling at all. You need a certain amount which makes you really fired up and focused for your gym session or whatever you're doing, but not too much where it puts you over the edge and you're so anxious and you can't even focus because you, all you can think about is yourself jittering around. You need to make sure you get the dosing correct and there are tons of recommendations out there, but I find it's very variable. Every person will find that they need a different amount than one other person. One, one person could need uh, half a cup of coffee and they're fired up, ready to go. That would be myself, I'm very sensitive. Although I am larger than you know a small girl, uh, they might need like a cup to feel its effects. Like a five foot girl, 110 pounds, and I'm like 5'10", 5'11", 6'3 to the birds, um, and I'm like 178, and I might need half a cup. So it's very dependent, it's not always based on weight and height it can be but it's not always so i want you to experiment if you're trying out a new pre-workout uh make sure you half scoop it test your tolerance or maybe even quarter scoop it just figure out your tolerance okay and then you can build from there don't do too much off the start i remember t I, i've tried out pre-workouts and i had a full scoop to start and it was way too much way too much i felt out of it had a shit workout so don't save yourself the hassle just try it in baby steps if you're not feeling it add some more so as I said, caffeine is a nootropic, so it can help when studying, help you be more productive and focused, okay? But th there's a really thin line with that one, because if you take a little over the amount you need, you're gonna not focus. It's gonna get you out of focus, because you're gonna be anxious. That's at least what I found. I get very anxious, I feel it in my stomach, and it makes me focus on that instead of my work. So don't do that, don't have too much. You need to find out and figure out your dosage. The shitty thing about caffeine is that it does build up a tolerance. You build up a tolerance to caffeine and that sucks. You're gonna eventually have to keep taking more if you wanna experience the same effects. And it, this does happen quickly. There's nothing you can really do about it. So what you should do over time, over every two months or so is take like five days off to reset your tolerance. It, it probably resets your tolerance roughly within a week. I'd say five days, you're good. Five days cold turkey, off caffeine, and you should reset that tolerance. Now, what sucks is that you will probably get headaches, and well, at least I do, um, and feel like shit for those you know, few days, and that sucks. Um, that's something kind of people you gotta live with, unless you wanna keep going, keep having more and more caffeine over time, you're gonna eventually start double scooping your pre-workout and then spending more money. So I think having you know a week off or five days every couple months is worth it in my opinion. Now you may really enjoy caffeine's effects and wanna have it 
all day because you just love feeling really focused, stimulated, and upbeat. You're, it's like a mood enhancer, okay? Don't try and have it all day. You, you need. To, I'd recommend having it in the morning, if anything, to mid-afternoon. That's it. Like I, I cut off my caffeine at 12 uh, p.m. midday, so I'd recommend you do the same, or else it can possibly mess with your sleep. The half-life of caffeine is like six hours. Quote me if I'm wrong. So that means after six hours, only half of it is gone. So it, it takes a while to get out of your system. If you have it too late, it's gonna mess with your sleep a lot. So that's why people say, oh, I'm not having my coffee past, let's say 1 p.m. So I, I stop my caffeine intake at 12 p.m. Uh, so that's why I hit workouts at like 9.45 a.m. But it's really up to you. If you find it doesn't mess with, mess with your sleep, have it late, sure, but it definitely does mess with mine, and most people it does mess with it if you have it too late. So make sure you have a, a cutoff limit for yourself where you've been like, all right, it's not gonna affect my sleep if I have it at this time. Any later, I'm fucked. Please avoid abusing the shit out of it, okay? Just don't have too much. Have just enough. The more you have, the faster your tolerance is gonna build up, and the more you're gonna have to eventually have, you're gonna have like three cups of coffee a day. That's why you've, you've probably heard like people, they need their coffee in the morning. You're gonna start feeling withdrawals. You're gonna need it so bad, so please don't abuse it. Just have the right dose to get you really fired up, but not too much, and don't have any after your workout or you know like three cups later in the day You don't of coffee. You don't want that. Just have just enough for what you're trying to do. If you're trying to study, have caffeine when you're studying, whatever time it is. Maybe don't double up on it. If you study in the morning and then you work out later, maybe don't have two scoops of pre-workout or, or one coffee in the morning, then pre-workout. It really depends on yourself. I mean, I'm very sensitive to this, so I'm really careful about how much I have, but I don't want you to eventually start having like three cups of coffee and then two pre-workout scoops late at night just to feel its effects and then have these insane withdrawals, feel so tired without it, because that does happen to a lot of people. Now, you probably know people that are like, oh my God, I need my morning coffee. It's because they literally feel those withdrawals. They feel so sluggish, so tired. I've been there, I've been like, oh my God, why am I so tired in the morning? And then caffeine just puts them back to their normal state, not even amped up, doesn't even produce its, its big effects that it uh, is famous for. It, it just puts you back in your normal state instead of your sluggish caffeine withdrawal state. So. Don't become like that. Don't abuse the shit out of it. You don't need it every workout. You can take it every workout, but just make sure to reassess tolerance. Like I said, every few months, take a week off that should reassess your tolerance or reset your tolerance, sorry. Um, but just don't abuse the shit out of it. Don't have three cups of coffee and then two pre-workout things. And a lot of people that do that, and they're just like, those people end up not being morning people at all. Those are the types of people that are not morning people because they're so sluggish, they're so grumpy without their coffee. Stupidest shit I've ever heard. Don't tell me I don't drink caffeinated coffee. I drink decaf because I want to have my pre-workout still. And if I had caffeine in the morning right when I wake up and then my pre-workout at like 9.15 before the gym, that's a lot of caffeine, okay? That's a lot. Uh, for myself, it'd be probably too much. And I like the other stuff in the pre-workout as well, so I'd rather that than just... Uh, a coffee because that just has caffeine it doesn't have like all the other pre-workout ingredients so I don't have caffeinated coffee anymore maybe do the same I like taste of coffee and it also blunts my hunger a bit because I perform slight little bit of intermittent fasting I just fast for like two hours in the morning so I like a coffee or two uh, decaf and it kind of blunts my hunger and I just enjoy the taste so that's a recommendation I would have maybe switch to decaf coffee if you keep having a lot of coffee like the taste and then have your pre-workout to help you when you're studying or uh, probably working out. Sometimes caffeine can be useful when studying. Just take a smaller amount. You don't need too much. You don't wanna feel jittery when studying because it's really gonna take your mind away. You wanna be really focused and if you have a small amount, whatever it is, uh, it'll keep you focused. You won't be too, your heart's not gonna be racing like crazy. You'll just be right in the zone and that's what you want when you're studying. I personally don't rely on it to have a good workout and I don't recommend that. You don't need to have it every single workout. If you want to have it every single workout, you can, uh, but I personally don't because I don't want to rely on it and I don't want to be like, shit, I don't have any pre-workout, I'm going to have a bad workout. You know, uh, a lot of people do that, but if you want to make, just make sure you have it every single workout, you can do that as well. Just don't abuse it, don't have too much and just make sure you're staying focused in your workouts. Again, just really, really don't abuse it. I can't emphasize that enough. A lot of people do and that's why they feel like shit when they're off caffeine for a bit. So that's it for me. You know, it's really up to you how much you want to have. You got to assess your tolerance, assess the dosage, don't abuse it. You know, if you want to abuse it, go for it again, but you're probably going to feel like shit in the mornings and be sluggish and then get really bad withdrawals. So again, up to you, my, my recommendations. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Use this, apply it, and I'll see you in the next one.